Hi everyone, I'm Dee. Welcome back to the New Earth community. Now today I'm going to be doing a collective reading for you all to see what messages you do have today. Now if you'd like to go ahead and follow me on the channel that I did create, um, the link to the channel is in the subscription box below. Um, thank you so much to Sophia for adding all my details. Um, I do individual reads, all that good stuff over on my channel. All right. So if you like this reading, you want to go ahead and, and follow me. The link to um, my channel in the box. All right. So let's get straight into this reading to see what it's all about. The channel is Infinite Light. We have Let Your Friends Help Me. You guys are being guided the Facebook group if you haven't already joined, okay? Link to that, I'm sure, is in the box below as well. What else do we have? Right, we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation as well. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Now, I feel as if you may be feeling closed off. You may be feeling alone here. I'm even picking up Dark Knight of the Soul right and to be really really honest with you the only people that can really relate to what you're going through is like-minded people people that share this connection with their own person and this is why you're getting guided to the to the um the facebook group below all right andrea does share uh the smaller programs they're gems you're able to understand third party emotionally unavailability Ah, uh, what else is there? What else is coming to mind's eye? Yeah, so I feel the channeled message is always a good one because you get the retrospect to what's happening with them. Um, the ebook and also the trust. All right. So she does share these programs in rotation, and I would suggest that you guys jump on that to understand the small changes that you can start making as well as what you're needing to change within the greater scope of things, right? This is, again, they're giving me the planets. With all of the planets still in retrograde, the outer planets, all these outer planets, they're generational planets. There is a reason why we are all here within the age of Aquarius, right? It's within our blueprint to understand what it is to, to raise above how this world is being controlled and what it's conditioned and it's conditioning from what we've experienced as individuals as well as what we've experienced as humanity. So I feel here with heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I feel as if you're feeling, like I said, like a dark night of the soul because there is so much within the energies that is promoting change within us, within the small aspects to how we function in and out of life to the bigger scope of things, right? Our careers, our mission work, what we actually do in tension of that, what we see as obstacles, right? How we overcome these things. And with the full moon in which is approaching this weekend. I think I do believe it's Sunday, like my time because I'm in Australia, Southern Hemisphere. Um, this is a full moon in Aries, right? It's our resist, our resilience to the changes that we need to make in our day to day and in our lifespan, right? Because when we talk about being a humanitarian, when we talk about um, making changes it's caring and it all comes from the heart space and if you feel as if nobody cares if you feel so much heaviness within your own heart it's understanding what you've experienced within this life thus far is what you're needing to address within yourself right it's understanding how to have compassion and love to what situation you're feeling now. What are you really needing to break down within yourself to build that resilience, to, to, to be able to come out, any, come out of any situation that you feel overwhelming, 
because I am feeling a dark night of the soul, the heaviness here. And this is about having compassion for oneself, learning to have compassion for oneself. You know, if, because I'm picking up so much, I'm picking up hate, I'm picking up not being able to process this. The Twin Flame Master really helps you dive deep into this and to why there's obstacles, why there's blockages there right as well as the one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions all right so details to all of this is in the box in the website below like i feel as if you may be feeling that you feel alone like nobody else feels this pain and because there's so much shift happening within the collective not only are you feeling your own but for those of you that are working on oneself you are feeling the pain of Gaia you're feeling the collective right and it's about processing it what uh, like just the care factor and what on 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 how you operate throughout the day either you're going to be angry bitter um hateful or you're gonna um take a step back if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're going to be able to process things in order to make a better now and not continue the same pain of how we've dealt things within the past it's creating that you now in this moment and, and acting upon right because yes there's going to be times within our life where we, we we feel overwhelmed but it's all how we process it all right twin flame master when you invest within the master you get the uni for free all right guys so understand these crucial life skills that are needed within yourself in order to make a significant now all right it's all about processing because i feel as if i mean with heart to heart conversation coming in i feel as if there's a conversation coming in there's communication coming in and it's all about how present you are within your heart space in this now to what and how you move forward with them okay so let's jump deeper into your energy We have the Ace of Wands, we have the Four of Swords, and we have the Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So I feel as if you know that they, they, they love you. You know that there's love there. But at the same time, you're being because the King of Cups sits there, he feels it, he doesn't do shit about it, right? I'm just going to say. Um... And I feel as if, I mean, this queen is looking straight at this king, right? She's like watching. When is When are they going to have communication? When this, when that? And I feel as if you're being really reactional, right? And it's about what you're choosing to do with your life right now, right? You hear, uh, you hear the talk of understanding what it is to... Um, follow your mission, understand that you are that star seed, you are that twin flame. You're not here to watch, you're here to do. And this is all about how you um, deal with situations, right? It's not about reacting. The twin flame union really helps you understand that. It's coming out of the 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 reactional, um, triggered state, um, emotional state, anger-based reaction, and it's dealing with the situation. Because you really want them. I don't know how else to say it, but you want to go at them at the same time. And this time of reflection is needed. This time of understanding, okay, how much, because you want them, but at the same time, you're fucking pissed off with them. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, I try to, to keep it PG, I do, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, either you know it's going to be constructive and it needs to be constructive in order for things to progress. Because when you come at it, when you're wounded, and you want this passion at the beginning. So it's about understanding here with the universe coming out, connecting energy. Thank you. 
yeah we have the we have the tower you have the seven of cups showing up bottom of the deck here we have the seven of wands showing up as well for connecting energy when it comes to this passionate new beginning that you want you do want it right this is about creating it all with inside of you this is about getting into some leo strength courage to go about things in a new way and you got to dig deep to create this new cycle of how you go about doing things because i feel as if with the tower here this is about understanding the past the twin flame union the adult healing right it goes deep into understanding previous relationships and it's even understanding i take it as far and what i tell my clients to do as well is to is to base the adult healing within each cycle that you've had with your person so then you can understand you know what challenges you you face to to what lessons you were really needing to learn in order to come out of defensiveness and to and to fight on but in progress for a better day for a better now for instance because it's all about the choices that we make right it's all about the choices that we make now either these choices can be clouded through the illusions of what's happening within the 3d on what's not happening right or we can know we can know and not create that haze and with neptune in retrograde this is really over the last couple of months you would have noticed right and for those of you that are working within yourselves there's been a real haze like this defog to what what you thought was secure it's not what you thought was solid, like especially with your finances, check out the money mindset, guys, because this is about converting every mindset that you have, right? The relationship that you have with yourself, the relationship that you have with them, the relationship you have with your children, with your pets, whatever you have around you, the relationship you have with money, right? Because this, this, world, this world operates out of currency, right having money is going to make your life a lot easier right it's about changing everything that you were taught to be that you were programmed to be and understanding you can have it all a new pathway must be found but i feel as if right now with this four of swords what's needed here is this rest this reflection this this healing time in order for you to understand everything that is crumbling is not working and a new pathway must be found right and this is not about hiding under the blanket right this is not about because what i feel as if right now like you're going through it and it's allowing those emotions to come up to come to surface and it's now asking yourself as an adult what do i need to do now you know, if you are heavily dependent on others or you have others that are heavily dependent on you, what do I need to do in this now in order to make my life, your life, the life that you want to build towards, right? It's coming out of that haze in order for you to understand what life is giving you the opportunity and with this full moon in Aries, the resilience that it's going to take within you, right, to stand your ground. To choose wisely. And it's all about how you react or don't react or fly off the radar. 
It's how constructive you are, right? Let's jump into them, to what you want to build, right? These are questions that you could be asking, right, within the Facebook group. These are questions that you could be asking um, within the one question service. Details to that all in the box. Um, twin flame union here to understand the reptilian brain. Because this is the thing, if you're sat and you are, you're sat here and you're watching somebody that does have feelings for you, but not take any action, right? This is about now understanding what do I do with my life? Because you are waiting on that person to, to make you feel loved. So what are you not truly not loving within your life, right? I had the whole deck upside down. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we have nine of cups, right? Bottom of the deck. We have the six of cups. We have the ace of wands. You both want this passionate new beginning. But this is the thing. That passionate new beginning, that constructive that that even that wisdom from what you get from what you do from what you've experienced from what you have experienced and seen heartbreak in right it's taking that time of rest to reflect upon to heal because that's what you're theoretically doing right to understand the lessons okay this is what I don't want to experience anymore. What am I needing to do to now um, have progression, right? Put in healthy boundaries, live those healthy boundaries, commit to those healthy boundaries to then know how you are going to act upon. And it's not even acting upon. You're just being your true sovereign self, right? They are reminiscing here on the connection big time. Give me the six of cups. They want to come in with something solid here. Give me the Ace of Wands, please. I know they've gone through it. They've gone through it. Uh, upstairs came in. Thank you. Can I have the Ace of Wands? Nah. They, in the previous, could have well, well and truly have been juggling. Um, and this is all about them creating balance because there's been a situation, right, that they've had to deal with that has blown up for them. I was going to say it because it's been for them, for them to understand, right, what direction they want to take, right, where, where their passion, where their, where they actually want to be, right? Give me the high priestess, please. See, this is a thing, like, yeah, this is Neptune. In, this is Neptune coming in for them, Neptune in, in retrograde. Through them, there's been addictions, there's been unhealthy choices. There's, it's illusions, right? I feel as if whatever has occurred within their life, this has happened for them in order for them to come out of the illusions, to, to see past all the fog of what, where they were giving to, who they were giving to, who was actually taking from them, who was making their life harder, to them understand the veil of illusion when it came to their choices and the choices they were making. And I feel as if there's been, you know, here with the, because this is connecting energy. Stand your ground is they've had to stand up 
to yeah look ten of cups they've had to stand their ground to what they really want in life i feel as if they're really standing up because this they've they've seen things for what it truly is and they've seen past the bullshit of other people of how other people were controlling their lives to them feeling bored and discontent within their own lives but now with this overall energy through this tower moment through experiencing all of this this haze and seeing through it now through understanding i do want this Ten of Cups. I do want this Ace of Cups with my Queen of Wands. <laughs> Either you're reactional. This is where my heart is. And they see past all the other people's bullshit. They're doing shit about it because they're at the Nine of Cups now. They're loving themselves to come out of this shit with everybody else, everybody else's noise to come towards you. Because this is somebody returning. And here with the Page of Cups, they're going to be offering something solid. Yeah. All right, let's get some. Guys, it's you, it's the way you're going to react to it is what the issue is. Because we've got Queen of Wands sitting here. Um, I would suggest that you book your in-depth reading, one-on-one -on -one sessions. It's all in the box. I'm not the only one, right, that offers these. We have trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And this is the thing. I feel as if you're really judging upon your person. You're not understanding the process. You're not understanding... Um, why they do and why they've done the situation and why they've done what they've done once you can understand and have compassion for that it doesn't mean brushing shit under the table no well what it does mean is that you have understanding you have compassion to why somebody does the shit that they do and it's about putting in healthy boundaries it's understanding that you are the leader of this connection right and it's not about how you react, but how you react upon. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace the new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Yeah. And this is what this tower moment is for the both of you. Right? Upstairs is asking upon you to take this reflection. Right? Twin flame master. One-on-one -on -one session. For you to understand and process and heal what's occurred here in order for you to understand it, to move past it, right? Progressively to put in healthy boundaries, right? They're getting the same guidance through this same tower moment that they've experienced to go towards what they're passionate about. Not to, to no longer choose where their addictions are, okay? And it's calling out their own shit as well. Because it's it's understanding, okay, well, I was going to this person for that. I was going to this person for that. Codependency issues within them, right? This is them understanding, okay, well, I need to stand my ground. I need to, I need to be strong within myself to not allow my addictions to come into play. And this is them now self-loving themselves, understanding what it is to come towards this connection. Okay, let's lastly get some messages from them. See, look, I'm trying to come over my commitment issues. That's them seeing truth and clarity on that through the illusions. We have children and family issues are a factor. 
And I feel as if when they do open up to you, this is something they're going to fully tell you, right? Because with this heart-to-heart -heart conversation, that drew me straight there. We've already read that one. I was in denial of this connection. I never meant to hurt you. Please give me time to heal my past pain. That's the both of you, right? There's reasons why, again, I'll say it again, that the reasons why they do the things that they do in and amongst their addictions, in and amongst them being with other people. And for the same reason, there's reasons to why you, you don't act upon and you react. And this is about having empathy and compassion for yourself, right? To learn what you're needing to learn and to heal, right? Just as well as them. I'm scared you don't love me as much as I love you. Details to booking any one of my services, guys. Um, go ahead and check out the link to Infinite Light. It's all in the box below. Thank you so much, Sophia, for uploading um, this reading. Um, if you'd like to check out the services, invest in any one of the programs, guys, all in that box. Take care and I'll see you soon.